everyone welcome back to my channel diamonds and washi my name is katie and today i am here with an unboxing of two kits from carrot art carrot art is a small shop that i have unboxed on my channel in the past and i've actually completed a kit from them as well i'll link to that review below if you're curious but i have seen some really beautiful completed kits uh, shared by fellow diamond painters recently and they've had a couple of new releases that have really been calling my name so i decided to try a couple more kits from them and I'm, I'm excited to share both of these with you today now i do believe that they ship um they it's they're not out of the us so i did pay kind of a high shipping cost but it helped that i was buying two kits that kind of spread the cost out a little bit uh, but yes i did buy these two kits myself they were not sent to me or asked to be unboxed or anything like that uh so the two kits that i have to share with you today let me see where's the sticker i think it's on this end okay so i have this one that's called garden by Mahu Shujo. So sorry if I'm mispronouncing. And then this one is, oops, sorry, <laughs> just called Dragon by Inksy Studios. And of course, one of the reasons that I went looking on this website on a, uh, at the shop again was honestly because I've been um, just totally in a dragon mode this year with it being the year of the dragon. And I'm wanting to work on a variety of dragon kits throughout this year and from a variety of small shops. And so I, I this one just re looked really, really cute. It wasn't too big either. So um, we do have this, these boxes that they tell you on the back kind of what is included in the kit, carrot.art. Um, and then here's instructions written out for you as well. And I think there will be some more, more info in here too. So let me open this up and we will take a look together. This first one that we're gonna look at is the dragon kit. And there are actually two dragon kits from this artist that they had on the website. One, it was really cute. It was like hugging a heart. And I was torn. I was like, which one do I wanna get? I don't need to get both. But if I love this one, maybe I'll go back and get the other one later. Um, I think that some of their kits they may offer in multiple sizes and drill shapes i think and it'll tell you whether or not that exact version is currently in stock on the website okay it looks like everything is wrapped in here there wasn't anything else separate in the box so let's take a look okay so this one it actually says the title is love dragon here at the bottom the box just said dragon but this says love dragon um, the artist is Inksy Studios, and this is legally licensed artwork. Um, Carrot Art uh, did get the permission from the artist and is compensating them as well. But let's let's unwrap this before we talk more about it. Oh, I just saw a bit of wax go flying. I'm trying to remember if on the website it let you indicate if you wanted a toolkit or not, and I'm sure if it did that I elected to forego a toolkit because I, I just have so much, but um, they did include some wax and a little caddy here, their branding, and then some washi tapes, nice thick wide washi tape. I have a video that I will have linked in the description box that explains some of the ways that I use washi tape when it comes to diamond painting. Uh, feel free to take a look at that if you are curious to see what those are. It, it's handy though. Um, and I do use it in a few different ways and it makes diamond painting a little bit easier. So ooh, look at that canvas, look at that cute artwork. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. Um, if I'm remembering correctly, they do have the um, kind of mock-up renderings, the digital renderings available to look at on the website for the listings if, as you're shopping. So that helps because it kind of gives you a sense for what to expect from, from the artwork of that particular size and whatnot. And they've included um, this sticker sheet, this branding and setup feels very very familiar to me i feel like i've worked on kits that maybe use this manufacturer before and have had a nice experience uh, so we do have the branding carrot art this this title on here says just dragon not love dragon so you know <laughs> whichever the title is is fine by inksy studios and there is a look at the original artwork the soft pastels are really what called my name i really liked the look of this one it's going to be 46 by 52 centimeters with square drills or squat or drills. <laughs> and then here's, I think, um, a unit number and then their website. Over here is a set of pre-cut sticker labels, which is, it's really handy that these are pre-cut. So if you go to kind of kit up your diamonds into storage containers or baggies, you can just peel off these labels and it makes that that process go that much more quickly. It looks like there are a total of 45 colors in this kit, including one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
ABs. That's a special drill. And we have seven of those special drill colors. I'll tell you more about them when we're actually looking at the colors and just the drills in just a little bit. And then the, the code otherwise on the right hand side is going to be the DMC color code. That's a color code system that most diamond painting companies do use. It comes from the DMC brand of floss. So there is that sticker sheet. And let me take you on a little tour of this adorable canvas. So here is their branding at the top from Carrot Art. And the edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished. Shouldn't have to worry about fraying. The backing is this short lint, soft lint material. Um, it's pretty stiff. It almost feels like kind of that almost like that felt board you can stick things on. Um, and then they use poured glue. It's very sticky. If a painting has a clear plastic cover like this, clear plastic cover like this one, that's usually gonna indicate that it's poured glue. And most diamond painting companies are using poured glue at this point. We're gonna have a color list over here at the bottom left. And if you're noticing what looks like kind of folds here, it's just where the plastic cover shifted, where it was wrapped around, well, how the canvas was kind of wrapped around the diamonds and packed away. So to get rid of those, you can just peel back the plastic cover a little bit more elegantly than I just did. <laughs> and if you then lay it back down, that will kind of get rid of that shift and help it lay flat. I'm not worried about it. It's it's not a big deal at all, but it that it came that way. That that happens sometimes. At the top right, we've got a thumbnail of the original artwork, and here is another color list. So it's on the left and the right. And then, like I mentioned earlier, here is the title and the artist's name and another thumbnail, the size and the inventory or unit number. Here's their website. And here's a discount code. So feel free to take advantage of that if you like, you guys. Looking at the printing on the drill field here, it is printed pretty, pretty clearly in my opinion. I believe that in the past, um, when I talked to Carrot Art a little bit about their canvases and the one I worked on, they do do some hand charting, which means that um, a human being is going in and touching up these canvases and the rendering to match more closely the original artwork. This particular artwork is pretty soft and kind of has those watercolory vibes. And so I am fully expecting that this confetti is with a purpose <laughs> and is on purpose. Uh, but I appreciate that the printing on the canvas is really clear, like I said. And I'm absolutely having deja vu in terms of this, you know, the kinds of materials and even the symbols that are being used. I am positive that there are some other small shops that use the same manufacturer and it's a good one you guys the material quality is is solid and the rendering is usually pretty good though a lot of that is going to be honestly it's going to be up to personal preference you'll have to decide for yourself if you like the rendering style and what kind of your priorities are in terms of those sorts of things so keep in mind these are just my thoughts you are more than welcome to disagree or you may find that there are things that you look for more so in a diamond painting than then I might prioritize, but anyway, I'm just gonna do a quick measurement. I always measure my canvases just, 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 just to check and see. We are at about 51, hold on a second. That says 51. Okay, so I think that they just did, um, okay. So it says 52 on here, but at the bottom of the canvas, it says 48 by 58. <clears throat> These dimensions and this, name do not match up with what's on the sticker sheet however the unit number does i'll just shoot them an, a message and let them know but i think that what they do is they just put the wrong title and the wrong size here but the size and title on here matches the one on the box and matches what i saw in the listing and so just just fyi I, i'm noticing that and i'll mention it to them like i said but anyway that matches the dimensions as are listed on the box on the listing and then we're at 45 centimeters this way. We're listed as 46, but I do give companies a centimeter or two of wiggle room. I don't think that's gonna be a deal, a deal breaker for me anyway. Um, so there's this adorable canvas. That's so cute. And uh, we're gonna take a look at the diamonds now. There is a sticker on here that has the unit number and tells you what kit these go with. And I'm excited because I actually have not worked on a square drill kit from Carrot Art before. The one kit I've completed from them had round diamonds. And I'm very curious to see what their squares are like. So let's take a look. 
Okay, so these do come in these resealable bags. And we've got um, this over here, the number one. Let me grab this for you for an example. Uh, the number one is going to match up with the left-hand column, kind of the color number. And then 153 is going to be the color code, the DMC color code. The 2.9A, that's going to be the weight. So um, these are square diamonds, like I mentioned. These look like resin to me. Now, I am not an expert, so don't quote me on that. I don't remember if they say what the drill material is on the website. But at first glance, the typical tells that I see for acrylic drills are not there. These kind of just look like resin to me. Um, and they do look, at first glance again, pretty uniform in size and shape. They look like they're nice quality. I don't see like extra, you know, a bunch of diamonds with extra bits sticking off the side. There's like a little bit here and there, but you'll have that with any material of diamond. It's nice that these are in resealable bags. I know some people actually prefer to work out of bags like this. I am a little bit klutzy, and so I will almost certainly kit these up into more like structured storage containers. I like to use the Elizabeth Ward brand. Um, and I'll put the sticker labels that came with these on on those storage containers and you know go from there. I am also noticing that some of these colors do appear to have some static in them. That is highly climate dependent. I never use that as like something that I hold against a company or judge them on uh, because I feel like a lot of it truly is out of their control. Just I see it whether it's in these resealable bags or in the heat sealed bags. It just seems like diamonds are really incredibly static prone lately. So instead I'm like, okay, what are the solutions I can have? I will sometimes cut up a dryer sheet and tuck them in the bag or the storage container. Um, I've also done like, um, like a humid breath, like imagining you're fogging up a window and doing that actually into baggies or storage containers, adding moisture to the air in there can really help with static as well. Note that some of these colors, you're gonna get multiple bags of them because they couldn't fit it obviously all in one bag. Now here at the end, we do have some of the special drills that we were looking at you guys. So we have seven again, and these are all going to be ABs. Now AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These diamonds get their name from the Northern Lights. They have a really extra shiny and sparkly iridescent coating on the top that stands out beautifully from the other diamonds that are on the canvas. It's gonna draw your eye to the areas that has been charted and really highlight those areas. So we have these seven colors, a nice lavender, a light pink, like look at those pastels, <laughs> a pretty aqua blue. And then we have a dark blue, a darker pink, a burgundy and white. So let's take a look at this canvas together and see if we can find where those special diamonds are going to be found. So um, let me make sure I'm gonna attempt do my level best not to miss them but we have seven to look for so you'll have to bear with me please uh so i do see kind of in these little bumps on the dragon's tail i see there's a little bit of the light pink ab i see the white ab in these white spots here and here um, and here it's just you know a little handful and there's you know a dozen or so of the light pink ab through there and there's some of the light, the lavender AB sprinkled through this area. And then, okay, I'm watching for a number of symbols. <laughs> so bear with me. Um, on the dragon's paws, there's a little bit of the lavender AB on these, in these light areas. And let me see. There's some of the light pink AB and the white AB right here and right here. And where is that light blue AB going to be? We don't have much of it, but I'm convinced that I'm missing it. Cause, oh, okay. So there's a little sprinkling of the light blue AB right down here. So there's just the tiniest amounts of it. These, these, okay, there's a sprinkling of the light blue ABs kind of in these sparkles over here. Um, I'm gonna just get rid of this fold really quick. 
<laughs> it's bugging me. Um, and then let's hop up into the wings here. So I do see some of the dark pink AB up here. And then I also do see um, some of the dark burgundy AB. That's kind of where I was maybe expecting to see those. Um, and the same thing over here. I see some of the dark pink AB um, right here and right here. And then... Oh, a little bit, a little bit of that burgundy AB here and over here and in these, these kind of little um, spines here. We have a little bit of the light lavender AB in here and a little bit on the under, underside of the wing here and as well as in the tail. A little bit of the light lavender AB in the dragon's paw. It's just, it's really sprinkled throughout. I think it's just going to add an overall like kind of sparkly effect. It's not like a super hand charted like kind of thing it doesn't seem to be we do have that light blue ab there's just a sprinkling of it over here and over here and then there's white ab kind of sprinkled all throughout this cloud this cloud over here and the cloud at the top right there's some white ab in it as well and some white ab sprinkled in here we have a little bit of the white ab in the dragon's eyes it's not all ab but it's just kind of a little bit throughout there we have some pink AB in the dragon's cheek over here, and then a little bit of the light pink AB in these little spots along its nose. And I see some of the dark pink AB here and one here. And then I see some dark pink AB up here and over here and a little bit right here. Some light pink AB right here and there is quite a bit of light lavender AB. Actually, it's doing a little bit of outlining on the dragon's face and on the ears on this side. And I think, I think that's all that I'm seeing. Oh no, we didn't find that blue AB at all. Hold on a second, let me look. It was the dark blue AB, there's not much of it. Okay, that dark blue AB is sprinkled through this ridge right here and a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, here on the insides of the dragons, well, kind of the outsides rather, <laughs> facing facing in, uh, there's some of that dark blue AB sprinkled through there. Okay, I think we covered all of the special drills, so it's just gonna add a little bit extra sparkle throughout. So um, let me go ahead and pack up, this is Dragon by Inksy Studios. I'm gonna pack this one up and grab the other kit to share with you. Okay, so next up, the kit I have to share with you guys is called garden and I will get you a better look at that artwork and um once we get into here <laughs> but this is a little bit bigger kit this is a kit that quite honestly I remember catching my eye from the moment they shared the new release I think it may have been a good six months ago at this point but there's just something about this the artwork itself and the colors that were really calling to me but I wanted to I think wait until there were maybe multiple kits that I wanted to buy or maybe to wait and see if there would be a, um, like if someone would work on it and finish it and then I could see a finished picture and decide. But when I was looking for a dragon kit and kind of came across this one again and it reminded me how much I had been drawn to this artwork, um, I decided to go ahead and go for it. So um, let me roll this one backwards as well. I may skim over I may skim over talking through some of the features of these kits because we did just cover them with the last kit that we talked about. So if you're interested to hear me talk in depth about those, I will point you in that direction. So um, this is Garden by Mahu Shujo. And it is just, I feel like it's just breathtaking. Her hair is gorgeous. The emotion in this piece is just beautiful and it just, I, I love it. I absolutely love it so, 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 so much. Here is the original artwork. I don't know if I noticed that there was kind of a, um, a rainbow there. You can see it. Oh my gosh, you can totally see it kind of there at the top of the canvas. Very faintly. I love that. So I just... The flowers are so pretty. Everything about this, it's just breathtaking to me. Um, so this is 55 by 72 centimeters. It is a bit bigger than the other one. Um, it's also going to have square diamonds and is also licensed from the artist. It's also gonna be more colorful than the dragon was. This one's gonna have 67 colors. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ABs in this one. Same features as far as the um, sticker labels go and um, what we have there. And same features on the canvas itself, you guys. We have the branding up there. We have the thumbnails and the legends on either side. The canvas material is the same as well as is the glue. Very, very sticky. I can't resist <laughs> poking the glue. Um, and same thing with if you're noticing these like little lines in the canvas, it's just where the plastic cover sh shifted, no harm done. You can peel back the plastic cover and that will just flatten right out. Um, here is the, I wonder, does this match? Okay, this appears to match in terms of the title and the measurements. So there is that. Same features as far as their branding and the discount code. Well, let's take a look at the printing on the canvas. This does look like, especially maybe the flowers down here will be pretty confetti heavy, but I do see some like little bits of color blocking even just in her dress and in her hair. Color blocking is when you have a lot of the same color all kind of together like this in a small area where you can multi-place um, and you'll also be kind of changing out the color in your tray le um, less often. But then like in the flowers where you have more confetti, it's more color changes and more like kind of singles of a color kind of sprinkled throughout. Um, that's what we call confetti. Confetti does tend to take a little bit longer to get through because of, you know, doing more in the way of single placing and changing out the color in your tray maybe a bit more often. But the trade-off is that you tend to get some nice color blending or texture effects and maybe get closer to the original artwork in terms of detail. So there is her face and that beautiful flower crown in her hair. But yeah, this one has, I feel like it's more, more heavy on the confetti side, but there is some color blocking in here. So um, I think the dragon was pretty similar where it was kind of a mix of both. Okay, let me grab my measuring tape, flip it this way to measure. Uh, it came with the same thing in terms of um, the wax and the washi tape. Sorry about that. <clears throat> as far as measurements, we are at, hmm, this is laying flat, about 71 centimeters, and we're listed as 72. And then this way, I wonder if that measurement would be more on if you were looking at the round drill version. I think, I don't know if this one comes with round drills as an option. And then about 53 and a half, 54 centimeters, and we're listed as 55. So we're a little bit off, but again, not enough that like I'm gonna make a fuss about it. It's not a huge deal in my opinion. Here are the diamonds. Ooh, look at that color spread, you guys. That is so pretty. There's our special drills here at the end. I'm gonna let you look at the colors in the package, just kind of, since we took a close look at the drill quality in the last kit, these should really be about the same. It looks again like these are resin squares and they come in the reseal little bags again with the same numbering system. But I do wanna get out the special drills to look at with you guys. We'll at least take a look at those. <laughs> See what we've got so we have all right, a couple of shades of purple 208 and 550 uh, we have a couple of shades ooh, a number of shades of blue here you guys put all those together <laughs> i'll even put them in kind of order here uh lightest to darkest yeah all of those blue shades i wonder if those will be i'm not sure where maybe in the flowers in the sky maybe in the rainbow then we have a white AB and a nice kind of like bubblegum pink AB, a little bit darker than that maybe. Okay, let's see if we can find the majority of these anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, what are our blue symbols? The star, the diamond, um, the U-turn and the letter A. Do you guys name your symbols when you see them on the legend? I totally do that. Uh, so, this, the star was the darkest one, right? Let me see. Nope. Okay. So the second darkest one, which is this color, uh, there is some of it in these flower leaves. It's kind of the stripes that you see, like the spines of the leaves. Um, and then we have the darkest blue is kind of sprinkled throughout these leaves. And here, um, it's in a couple of these spots and in here, here 
And here it's some of the, yeah, it's some of these dark colors, not all of them. Um, and then the next lightest blue color, this color, uh, is throughout some of these areas too, as is, oh, I thought I saw it. No, I, I don't think I am. Yeah, it's over here and here and here. It's sprinkled through some of these areas. So yeah, those three shades of blue ABs are honestly just kind of at various points throughout these florals. <laughs> so you'll find them in a number of spots. I do also see the darker purple AB. It's just here and there in some of the outlining spots on these flowers. Um, yeah, just really lightly sprinkled. A little bit of extra shimmer there. And then the medium purple AB is actually next to some of those spots again and some of the outlining just sprinkles of it here and there again. Um, and then the lightest blue AB is actually in this part of her dress. It's this nice big patch of blue right here. And then the white AB is not this whole white patch, but it's kind of outlining it and sprinkled through like right here. It's sprinkled through this area. The light blue is sprinkled through this area and here. And the white AB is back over here and here. And let me see. Make sure I'm missing it. My cat decided to go ahead and go and start eating. Um, then that darker, the, the pink, kind of the bubblegum pink AB. Um, it's in parts of her hair. It is, yeah, it's some of these darker pinks have that pink AB kind of just sort of laced throughout it. Just here and there. It's also over here in this flower. It's parts of this darker pink color that are doing the outlining. This white right here is white AB. And then make sure I'm not missing ones. Let's see, any pink in her face? Not that I see. Um, there is some up here in her flower crown. Some of these pinks are, the, the dark pink that you see up there is pink AB. The white you see in these flowers is all white AB. And then I have a feeling that all of those shades of blue ABs are, yeah, they are. They're at various points in these flowers up here. I'm not gonna try to point out exactly where each specific one is, but I will tell you that I see the three darker shades. Like the lightest blue is the one that's missing from these flowers, but the other three shades of blue are just honestly at various points throughout these flowers. Also here, I see the darkest blue AB as well as the medium blue AB right here as well as right here. And then do we have any up in the sky? There's some white AB in the lightest parts of this, is it like a vase, something ornamental over there. Um, and then I don't, I don't see any ABs up here in the sky or the rainbow or anything like that. Okay, so that is where you're gonna find the special drills in this particular kit. Again, it's it's a lot in the flowers, um, a little bit of pink in her hair, and my favorite spot for these special drills is definitely in the flower crown. So at first glance, the rendering printed on the canvas, I think it looks good. I'm hoping that the darker colors in her face, like the darker skin tones, I hope they're not gonna to be too stark. Um, but I tend to be a bit pickier when it comes to skin tones and portrait style paintings. So that is something that my eye was kind of drawn to. And I'm just hoping that once the diamond colors are down, that the transitions between those colors are going to look a little bit smoother. But then again, the original artwork, there are some dark colors there. So if it's looking true to the original artwork, that's, that's really what I'm caring about. So anyway, you guys, this is called Garden. Again, it's by Mahu Shujo. And uh, I will link to this kit as well as the dragon kit I shared with you today if you'd like to go take a look for yourself. I'm not an affiliate for Carrot Art. Um, I just purchased these kits myself. There was that discount code at the bottom of the canvas that I would recommend that you use. Save a little bit of money. If you live outside of where they ship out of, are they shipping out of France? I, I think maybe, I care, Germany, I can't, I'm so sorry. I can't remember. I'm located in the US and I just know that I had to pay international shipping fees. That can get kind of expensive. And so I would suggest that if you are going to buy a kit, maybe consider buying two to help kind of distribute that shipping costs a little better. It makes it maybe sting a little bit less. 
but don't spend money you don't have either. So um, just letting you know what my experience was, but I am planning to work on one of, at least one of these kits soon. I think it'd be fun to work on the dragon for the year of the dragon, but also this artwork is really, really calling my name and could be really pretty to work on as well. So please stay tuned. I will absolutely keep you posted and do a review um, if and when I complete one or both of these kits. So feel free to subscribe if you want to make sure you don't miss that and also see other unboxings and reviews that I've done here on my channel. I have shared just a huge variety of different diamond painting companies here and um, invite you to take a look. There's a lot out there and hopefully something that really is calling your name. And I also would love to hear from you. Have you ever bought from or tried working on or finished a kit from Carrot Art before? Please leave a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what your experience has been, what your thoughts are, or if you haven't worked on one of their kits before, maybe let me know what your first impressions are of these two kits I've shared with you today. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you a lot and I look forward to reading your thoughts and thank you for subscribing if you do. I hope that you have a day and a week that's as amazing as you are. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.